Hey there guys, Natural 28 here and uh, today I'm going to bring you a review of a product called Final Mate. Um, now this is Final Mate for the Mac and as you can see if I go to the list they do both a Final Mate for Mac and a Final Mate for Windows. So um, I'm, reviewing the, I'm reviewing the Final Mate for Mac, Final Mate for Mac but it is also available for Windows is what I'm trying to say. It's produced by a company called Ansoft, and as you can see from their product list, they have multiple products that are related to video tools, uh, conversions, tools, etc. And this one is actually going to is under the camcorder tools. So, <clears throat> what is Final Mate? So Final Mate is kind of a, as a, a sort of suggests a companion for your camcorder. It's um, a tool that allows you to uh, do things like back up your camcorder to your hard drive. Um, very easily you just basically run the wizard and then you select the files and the directory and it does it for you. Or you can do the most common thing which is the import. And, and I say the most common, I think this would be the most common use for it to be honest, or most people use it for. Um, and what that allows you to do is it allows you to take files that are on your camcorder, do some editing to them, and then export them, if you will, out to your hard drive uh, in either standard AVC MTS format, as you can see there, AVC MTS format, um, to a multitude of formats. You can output it to that format or other formats. Um, and the file that you get out would be the file that you were edited or the files you edited together into one file from your uh, camcorder. Now it does this by actually not editing it on your camcorder, not editing it in the file on your hard drive, it does it kind of and then does the export from your camcorder directly to your hard drive um, with the edits uh, that it does. So it doesn't actually change any of the files on your camcorder is what I'm trying to say. So just running through the list of things as you can see um, scroll down a little bit um, it's, it talks about the import capture video footage from your camcorder and import videos from hard drive with ease um, you can preview in real time using the player you can merge videos on your timeline you can split, trim and enhance uh, with enhanced frame accuracy um, you can remove interlacing artifacts, adjust the audio, crop letterbox, and then you can export them to a lossless output, which is the out to the MTS file, or you can um, import it into Final Cut or iMovie without rendering. And you can create DVDs and Blu-rays, and you can basically create videos that will run on your iPad, iPhone, iPod, Android, and various other devices. Import wise, you can import uh, AVC HD, TOD, mod files, with lots of different resolutions, and you can export to a ton of things as you can see there. Uh, you can capture from your HD camcorder or cameras via USB, and it supports multiple lots, lots and lots of different camcorders. And you can import, oh, sorry, you can import, I've lost, lost more place now, yeah, import video footage. Uh, from computer or XLR drive. I say output options, output to lots of different devices there as you can see, tons and tons of devices you can just output to. You can output to media players, uh, output to um, editing things like Final Cut, Final Cut Express, iMovie. You can upload direct to YouTube, Facebook and etc. Lots and lots of things you can do with it and I won't cover all those, I'm just going to cover the, the basic file editing and creation because otherwise the video going far too long but you can see it does a lot of a lot for your for your money and it's forty nine dollars so it's fairly cheap. So let's quickly take a look at the tool. We can see we've got no uh, files there. Um, so I'm going to show you firstly how to import your files. Very quick, you take your camcorder, you uh, plug in the lead. I've got a Sony camcorder. There we go. Choose my 
mystic, let the memory stick come up. And you can see my camcorder wizards there. Click OK. As I say, there's your backup option, which I won't be using, and there's your import option. And as you can read, it says please keep the camcorder connected for the whole process. Okay, click next. Now I'll then select these files. All right. So you might I know which files to I want to see. So if I select that one, I can preview to make sure it's the right file. And I know it is, but we can see. So we can see a preview, so that one and the other ones there. I won't go through the preview of the, all of them. Um, once you've done selecting the files you want to bring in, you click the start button and it imports them into your list up here. And it's at this point that we can start doing the movie creation and editing. Okay there guys, so um, so far what I've done is I've uh, taken the files, um, two files from the um, camera and I've imported them and so what now we're going to do, we're going to do um, some video editing so let me just delete these temporary files that I've got here save, uh, recreating them again it's empty my trash because I've got quite a lot in there go away um, right so what's that complain about um, ok, right, go away Okay, um, so I'm my two files. First thing I need to do is create a new movie, and it's called Movie Five because I've done a few now. And I'm going to cut them across and pull in my first bit of video. Uh, we can preview that video if we really wanted to. Okay, see. Now let's say at at the halfway point here. Um, so say say 20 seconds. So let's go to the timeline. Um, Twenty. No, silly. It's not twenty minutes. No, um, zero there. It's twenty seconds. So at timeline twenty, I'm going to trim this bit away. So all I need to do is I need to split it, and then when my piece, uh, my Mac has gets cut up, and then we can delete that bit. Now if I want to undo, I can actually use the restore video and it will put it back again. Okay, um, But I don't want to do that, I'm, I'm showing you the editing functionality. Um, we've got the adjust audio you know, and various other things we could do to this, but I'm just going to do a bit of trimming and voila. So the next thing is I want to actually get, as you can see the more or less the video there, I want to get past this bit here. Uh, to be more accurate, let's play it. Let's wait for it to do that. Okay. Um, so say there, I want to um, st step back a couple of frames. Okay. At that point, I'm right. Then I'm going to split it there. So I've edited the video for the second half. So this is two separate videos. Remember, two separate video files on the on the camcorder itself. And I split it again. And I'm going to delete that okay and now we can see there's one continuous well it's not one continuous file here but it's you know we can see there there's we can actually pull bits in we can actually trim it down a bit but we want to create one video which has those two bits in it so all we do we click export and you can see all we have is the export option click OK and then it will create the movie file which is the same name as you can actually rename rename this by the way but we're not bothering with that. So we re, uh, rebuild it. It's pretty quick because all it's doing is actually um, creating one of the same format as we can see MTS format. And if I was to run this now, and it might stutter a bit because of the number of things that are running on my Mac. It's not too bad actually. Oh, there we go. Uh, but in reality, it wouldn't do that. It's just because I've got so many things going on. Uh, and when we hit the mark where I did the curtail seat switch to the other bit of video. Um, instantly, so it's all in one file. And there we go. So we can see that all happening lovely. Let's stop that. Let's click that. So that's showing you very quickly how you can take 
some video and or two bits of video or three bits of video or four bits of video um, like with the webcam how it uh, sorry with the camcorder how it kind of splits up into two gigabyte files you can take them put them together and create one lovely large file um, and it, you know you could then put that onto uh, and play that for someone okay the other thing you can do let's delete this out of the way because we don't care we'll create a new one and what we're going to do we're going to create well that was for losses help but we're going to create one for conversion and so I'm not going to do splitting but you can actually do the splitting and, and the joins and that in this as well um, when you do the export you get a little bit more functional uh, a little bit more options um, so you can choose for example uh, what it's going to go out to so uh, let's say an iPod okay you um, can you got your MPEG 2 um, settings, lots of different codec settings, etc. And then here you can choose lots of other different settings like um, your um, DivX, AVI formats, and various other things. Um, so let's click OK and I'll go off and do an export as well. OK, and it's completed. OK, so here's movie 6. We can see it's a different file format, it's done the conversion, obviously it's much smaller. Um, this is a much smaller format because obviously we've done it as a, a, a smaller format. And obviously you can see again, if we play it through, it'll have the whole thing there. You can see there, there's um, obviously because it's a, a lossy format, it's got some sort of artifacts. But you can play around to get the best format. And obviously, if this is being viewed on an iPod, uh, then it would look much better. It's just because it's on a small, uh, small bit of screen on a big screen. But there we go. We saw it's flick cross between the two, um, and so there we have it. And that's basically it. I mean, this tool is fantastic for allowing you to do very quick um, conversions, very quick um, editing of your files live. Um, and um, as I say, remove any artifacts, enhance the, the, the sound if need be, and uh, producing a file that can be used in uh, multiple different devices um, for your system. So it's a great little package. Um, it's no um, what I would call video editor. Um, you know, you can't do your uh, transitions and things like that. It's And I don't think it's really designed to be at that level. It's designed really for aiding your backup of your camcorder, aiding the creation of these files, you know, to, to, to kind of create a, a file that is uh, one file from multiple files and splitting bits off, cutting bits up, and, and do it very and nicely and quickly and, and uh, not having to worry about the whole spending hours editing if you really want to. Um, so it's a great little package for doing doing those those edits really. Um, it's certainly um, um, you know feature rich for your uh, for your conversions and it's very quick uh, in doing those conversions, very quick in doing the rendering um, or exporting um, those splits and um, joined files. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's my uh, little review for this product. Um, as I say, it's available for the Mac and the PC, so go and check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later, guys.